from the Philippines and it Turkey. Here is 31-year-old Nesti Patesio of the Philippines, the Tokyo Olympic silver medalist, the 2019 World Championship gold medalist. Her opponent, Ezra Yildiz, Ezra Yildiz, 26 years of age. She, too, a Tokyo Olympian. As we see the five scoring judges from the United States of America, Mr. Sergei Kutasov, the Korean Republic, Canada and Puerto Rico. Bachir Abba of Morocco is the third person in the ring. So here are the previous results of Ezra Yildiz. 4-1 split decision victor over Elise Glynn at the quarter-final stage. It was a terrific performance against Maud van der Toorn by Pestesio, where she overturned a first-round deficit, a sensational second round. It was a very cagey third round, where she didn't use the front foot pressure that served her so well in the second round of the quarter-final. She edged it out in a unanimous points decision verdict. It was incredibly tight. Now just one win away from becoming a two-time Olympian, and that is the objective that is being pursued by Yildiz as well. Another a set of final instructions from our referee from Morocco. And we are underway. This is 57 kilogram action at the semi final stage. Is this one of the two divisions where a quarter final victory was not enough? The Southpaw wearing red is Nasty Potesio, seeking to return to the Olympic stage after coming away with Olympic silver in Tokyo in the summer of 2021. As Ryildiz of Turkey wearing blue is also seeking to become a two time Olympian. This promises to be a contest of the highest quality. Starting off a little bit cagey. Both boxers feeling each other out. Southpaw left reach for uh, Patesio. Patesio's just falling short a little bit. She needs to get her feet into range before she throws. Here's an altogether more solid left cross to the solar plexus from Nesti Patisio. Just on the edge of range, making Yildiz fall short. Hard left hand driven into the body once again from Patisio. She is a sensational body puncher. They're looking for the right left combination once more and digging away from the to the body. So the command of stop from the referee. Terrific bolo shot with that backhand from Patesio once again. It was good from Patesio going to the body and working her way up to the head. She used those quick feet to carry her into range, but she's been long on occasion when attempting the left cross upstairs. Oh, that's a cracking overhand left from Patesio. No right jab required to set it up. Got her feet into position, pivoted her feet into the canvas and got plenty of leverage on it. Bolo shot, backhand success to the body once again. Then a check right hook spinning off the ropes, looking for that same Harlitz River left cross. It was off the mark, but the southpaw right hook did score, along with her attempted left cross and right hook. And the two boxers take one another down to the canvas. Both boxers spoken to about grappling on the inside. Roundhouse left was inaccurate from Patesio, and look at it continue to dig away to the body of her opponent until the referee says stop. Four commands from the referee in Olympic style boxing, remember. Stop, box, break, and time. Those are the only utterances at the third person in the ring.
will declare. Boxers just waltzing one another around at the 10 second oh. clapper and a check right hook then dipping beneath the counter to conclude the round from Nesti Potesio. I think the woman in red has done enough to take the first three minutes, but how do the judges see it? It's a clean sweep of the cards, all five of them preferring the work of the Tokyo Olympic silver medalist. Really good work there from Potesio, getting inside the range of her opponent in blue. Using the jab, following through with the backhand. It's a beautiful shot, really working well with the check hook, spinning out and getting herself back into centering. Her opponent in blue was just finding it hard to, to get the get the range. She was either falling short or she was smothering her work. She was she was coming over the front foot and then ending up in a clinch. She's gonna have to really work hard to get herself back into. The scoring block. She's already in this in the center of the ring before the bell's even gone. So a reluctant step back just before the bell by Ezra Yildiz, who was outpointed in the first round across the board. A unanimous verdict in favor of Patessi, who is now was momentarily orthodox and scored with a reverse one-two. Right hand, then left hook. Now she's back as a port-sided boxer, leading with a right hand and left hook. And it's a lead right hook that scores once again. And with Yildiz having to come forward, that could well play into Potesio's hands. A little bit of difficulty with the head guard. She readjusted it beyond punching range. But Yildiz has to take it to Potesio now. Potesio, such an explosive punch-up. Looking to walk her opponent onto punches now. Nice shot scored by Yildiz, but countered immediately by Potesio, who then had the final word in the exchange with a belting left hand to the body. That's good from Potesio there. He's just controlling her opponent. Yildiz really needs to start to work hard. That's better from Yildiz. Trying to up in, pin her opponent down in the corner. It's just getting a little bit messy. Again, every time the referee has to intervene as he speaks to Potesi about her responsibility to keep her head up, the clock continues to elapse. That's a beautiful right hand, oh. twice in quick succession from Yildiz, and then looking to target the body. Heels of the glove, forearms going into the face of Potesio, who may be spoken to about keeping her head up. Instead, it's about applying an illegal hold. Not quite sure why Potesio is being so passive through this portion of the round. There's a good southpaw left cross from her as she goes back to investing in body shots once again. Potesio needs to be careful here. She's getting caught with quite a lot of quite a lot of shots. That was better. And she's also on the back foot. And we know the judges have been favoring a front-footed fighter. Oh, that's a cracking right hand again from Yildiz, who is making a really good fist of this second round, having been outpointed in the first unanimously. Potesio, good right hand to the body and then a left hand to the sternum. And she's busy looking at the referee, but for my money, she needs to be keeping a, a focus on the opponent who is looking to overturn the 10-9 deficit she faces across the board. So Potesio had a brilliant start to the round. Yildiz again with the heel of the glove into her opponent's face and that is stern admonishment from the referee in the direction of the Turkish boxer. So final 20 seconds and change, but Yildiz has responded very well. I'm rather surprised by the comparative passivity of Potesio and sometimes that can be the false security that a 10-9 lead across the board can provide because she's showing good ring generalship, pivoting and turning in the pocket, but look at the activity from Yildiz. There, Potesio fires back. Beautiful head movement to avoid the counter. Well, this second round is going to be very interesting because Potesio produced some brilliant quality, but Yildiz produced a volume, but it's Potesio's quality that is being rewarded for four of the five judges, the judge from Puerto Rico, preferring the volume of Yildiz. So her tactics paying off, and it's a solid commanding lead now for Nesti Potesio with three minutes of boxing remaining. But she's so sure in her strategy because that's how she approached the final round yesterday, and she prevailed in that one too. Yeah, I think, I think Potesio is very good at, ca at catching her opponent with the eye-catching shots that are very easy for, the, for all the judges around the ring to see. Yildiz was throwing a lot more in that round. 
but she was reluctant to to land a lot of those shots that she was that she was throwing well final <laughs> slug of water after the sound of the bell taken on board by Nesti Potesio she took the first round unanimously southpaw left once again landed by the woman in red and Yildiz needs a massive final round to overturn the two-point deficit that she faces for judges one two three and four Tessio perhaps she took a breather in that second round working away to the body Yildiz spoken to about rabbit punching around the rear of the head that illegal of course and again she's done it right once more on the resumption but that's because Patesio was dipping her head too low according to the referee good work to both head and body from Yildiz. Good defence with the gloves from Patesio, who's turned into an orthodox boxer now, leading with a left hand, but she's picked off by a right uppercut as she was looking to work her way back into range. Yeah, this is better from Yildiz. She's really working now, working the body of Patesio, and then coming up to the head. This is the right way to do it if she wants to try and get a 10-8 round. Bustling away to the body once more before fashioning a clinch. Tessio knows that she leads 10 8 for four of the five scoring judges. Beautiful left hand to the body, turned into a left hook to the head from Yildiz, and there she goes, body hunting once again. But he's countered upstairs from Patessio. The final word coming from Yildiz with a subsequent oh. body attack and beautiful uppercuts oh. twice in quick succession during that combination success for Yildiz. Fantastic portion of the round for the Turkish boxer. Tassio needs to needs to be careful here that she doesn't concede too many too many scoring shots. And you see the observer, well, you shouldn't be taking your eyes off the what's happening in the ring, but you can see in our peripheral vision one of the international technical officials having to speak to Yildiz's corner about excessive support and coaching from the corner. But they are trying to encourage their boxer to summon up the reserves of energy and produce the blistering combination she's going to need to produce the 10-8 round required to get back on terms. And credit to her because she is going for it as Yield as Patesio oh. continues to fiddle with her head guard. She's being implored to come forwards, is Yield is, and she's doing exactly that. Patesio looking to counter, but she's being strangely passive from an offensive point of view, then disengaging, going from one set of ropes to the other before initiating a clinch. I don't think there's any doubt that it's Yildiz is going to win this round, but it's unlikely that it's going to be by the 10-8 portion required to get Yildiz back on terms. But again, Patesio so confident in her ring craft. Nice check right hook from the Tokyo Olympic silver medalist before changing directions and moving counterclockwise with a check left hook. Terrific quality produced in the closing stages from Patesio, countered by Yildiz, but Patesio knows that she has done enough. The contest was won in the first two rounds. Sensational performance in the first round. A brave performance in the second from Patesio, still took it on a 4-1 split. The Turkish coaching contingent not necessarily happy with the manner in which the bout was officiated, but Nesti Patesio, all of her experience on display there, a very efficient economical display, but got the contest in the bag in the first two rounds. I think Yildiz has won the third, but I would be astonished, astonished if it were by the 10-8 round she required get back on terms after conceding the first two rounds 10-9 for four of the five judges Nesti Potesio is a two-time Olympian and she is absolutely delighted. That's why those two fingers are being raised to the ring lights because the Tokyo Olympic silver medalist has an opportunity to emulate or indeed better her accomplishments from the Olympic Games three years ago. She has prevailed on a split decision verdict at the semi-final stage at women's 57 kilograms. And that is why she is warmly embracing her coaching contingent now. Another 
very clever display where all of her experience was on show. Ezra Yildiz deserves immense credit for the part that she played in what was an absorbing encounter, but Nesti Patesio got the insurance in the bank in the first two rounds. Really good from Patesio for the first, first two rounds. The third round, she started to wilt a bit, but she'd already accumulated enough points on the board to seal the deal to go to the games, and this is how she did it.